Hello, welcome to another episode of Andy Drinks Beer, the show where Andy drinks beer. Today, we are returning. Uh, I think this is the first two-time brewery. We got Brow Brothers, the pride of Marshall, Minnesota's Moo Juice. Now, we're, we're going a little darker today because e even though it's still the end of summer, and happy Labor Day out there, one and all, marking the, uh, the, the unofficial official end of summer. We're getting into fall. That means it's time to go DAC. Now, this is available uh, year-round uh, from our good friends over at Brow Brothers, but man, cold weather, Minnesota. A everyone complains about the weather here in Minnesota, and I understand it. The biggest pain in the ass is traffic, you know, especially if you're commuting from the burbs to downtown. I, I, I understand it can add half an hour, hour to your drive, but man, there's just something about good old fashioned cold weather, football weather, hockey weather, if that's your bag, it's gonna be good. And also, the return of dark beers being in vogue. Because, you know, I, I love a stout. Not really gonna chug one when you're uh, on the pontoon. No, 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 not really. So, right away get that beautiful dark flavor also I feel like this is gonna be a little bit sweeter uh, than, than the normal stout and also you got the oatmeal working in there as well it's gonna be 5.8 percent ABV 24 on the IBU so let's get a little sippy 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 so so right away you, you get the, the hint of the sweetness also you know, the body of the beer it is it is an overwhelming because there are, there are certain stouts, especially oatmeal stouts, where you take that first sip and you're like, nah, 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 nah. you're chewing that thing. So our first criteria is this a crushable or a sipper? This is going to be crushable. You know, this is in the vein of you know English brown ales, where you, know, you think of like a Newcastle, where you can do some damage with some Newcastle stouts. Ah, you know, you know Guinness extra stout. Maybe you can only put away you know three or four. I could go all night with a couple of these bad boys. And you get the malt. Oh, the. So, one of my favorite things uh, about beers uh, is the little creaminess. And with the moo juice, you, you think automatically, well, we're in. We're going to get a little bit of that creaminess. And uh, th that's one of the underlying flavors that I really like about um, uh, Spotted Cow. Uh, over in New Glarus, one of the only redeeming things about Wisconsin is that that slight little twinge of creaminess. It almost tastes like corn. And if, if, if you drink a, uh, a spotted cow, you know, just think about that corn flavor uh, hit, hanging out in the background. And, and with this, it, it's sort of like the left-handed milk stout with, with the nitro where the, the creaminess is the first thing that you get. And, and then you get more of the stout. And I, I feel like that really helps uh, it, it, with your, you know, with the flavor profile, and also, you know, if you're, you know, not pairing this essentially with food, if this is like your standalone drink, uh, maybe you're doing a little happy hour, a little bit colder weather, maybe we're we're getting some sweaters and some hoodies going on. Yeah, this is uh, perfect. Speaking of food, though, what would pair well with this? Pumpkin spice, anything? Yeah, I, I'm talking about anything you put pumpkin spice in. Oh, you know what would be phenomenal with this? Pumpkin spiced pancakes. Pancakes. I'm not a huge pancake guy, and I also kind of hate pumpkin spice everything, but I understand you basic wenches out there. I understand that you like to put in everything, and since it's fall, since it is the harvest season, you know, fire up a couple of these bad boys, a nice little short stack of pumpkin spiced uh, pancakes, you'll be good to go. What does this remind me of? Dark, smooth, and you just want more, although you kind of, you kind of feel bad about it. Yeah, Anthony Jeselnik. If you don't know who Anthony Jeselnik is, YouTube him on the Comedy Central roasts. Also, I think he had a show those on for a short while on Comedy Central. Stand-up comedian. He's hilarious. He uh, he definitely goes dark. Yeah, you know, j just like this bad boy, but also extremely uh, smooth as well. Y you'll know what I'm talking about. Man, that is so good. That that is so good. Uh, what does this remind me of? Well, fall, football season. All right, I better stop before we have to start paying for that. But the colder weather coming in. I'm a big cold weather guy. Uh, I love the weather where you get to wear the vests. Uh, you know, you know the puffy vests or or like the zip up vests, and, and it's good. Also being 
you know, maybe a, a couple pounds heavier than uh, the doctors would recommend. Cold weather suits me just fine. And, you know, a couple of these uh, lighten up the fireplace, uh, the electricity bill going way, way down, although the gas bill goes up a little bit, whatever. And it's bringing up. Yeah. We come from the land of the ice and snow. And that's how we roll. Last but not least, our rating system. One out of ten Ruben Stutters. Ten being the best, one being Ruben Stuttered. How does Brow Brother Brewings, as that stupid motorcycle just completely ruins my ending? Yeah, that, that's the yeah, that, that's the risky run of shooting outside. Uh, Brow Brother Brewings, uh, Moo Juice Oak Meal Milk Stout, ten out of friggin' ten. Brow Bros, well done. Almost as good as Bang Bros. We love you, Marshall, Minnesota. Represent out there. Smash that subscribe button on YouTube. Give us a like on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all at Andy Carlson Show. Prost.